From Monona Grove High School, WVMO brings you Silver Eagle Basketball. Good afternoon, I'm Steve Martinelli, and tonight, this afternoon, I should say, the Silver Eagle ladies take on the Milwaukee Rufus King Generals in a non-conference matchup. Should be an exciting game. Both these teams very talented. Some individuals that are just outstanding on both sides. Silver Eagles coming off a loss last night at DeForest. They take their 13-3 record against the 9-7 King Generals. Don't be confused or, or, or lulled by that 9-7 record. They play a really tough schedule. They're 4-0 in the Milwaukee City Gold Conference, beating up on their, their opponents in that conference. But they've played a tough schedule throughout the year, and it's preparing them for a deep run into the playoffs. Last year they got beat in the regional finals to Brookfield Central. But this is a team graduated some talent, went 11-1 in the conference, lost four of their top five best players, uh, really only returned one big star, Destiny Tooks, and we'll talk about her in a little more in a little bit. But um, this was a strong team last year. They've reloaded. Uh, it's really interesting looking at their makeup of the roster. They've got only two seniors on the roster, two juniors, four sophomores, and six freshmen. And of those freshmen, there's one to watch, number 32, Sydney Roby, averaging 14 points a game as a freshman. Of course, as I recall, Monona Grove's got a freshman that's pretty good too, McKenna Warnock. Warnock averaging a little over 18 a game, along with Autumn Ogden, who's averaging 18 a game for the Silver Eagles. They're also the leading rebounders from Monona Grove, both averaging about eight rebounds a game. Ogden, interestingly enough, has more offensive than defensive rebounds. I mentioned the Silver Eagles got beat last night. They traveled up to DeForest to take on the Norskies and had a chance at the last few seconds to tie this game up, but ended up missing and falling to defeat. 48-45, tough one against the Norskies. The Norskies a good team though, good defensive squad, and the Silver Eagles just not shooting well. Let's see if they can bounce back tonight. In their previous two losses this season, both against Stoughton, they came back big the next night or the next game, scoring over 80 points. They may need that tonight against this team. King comes into the, the matchup, let's see, averaging 62 a game. Their defense gives up 59, so that's a little deceiving though. They got some players that can really shoot the ball. Roby's gonna be the handful, six foot three shooting 51% from the field, and like I mentioned, averaging 14 a game. She's got a high of 26, but the real star of this team is Destiny Tooks, number 12, 22. Tooks averaging 19 a game, great free throw shooter. Uh, season high 30 points early in the season. She's, she's good for uh, between 20 and 30 almost every night. She's only had a couple down games, but between Tooks and Roby, they're talented. They've also got a third player who's uh, one that they can count on, Kay Clark, averaging just about 10 points a game. She's led them in scoring in a couple individual games. Good size on this King squad. They're going to be a handful for the Silver Eagles. We'll see how they match up. Uh, Monona Grove's going to have to shoot the ball well, undoubtedly. Certainly better than they did against DeForest, I'm afraid. It's part of a stretch where WVMO is broadcasting three games a week for the next couple weeks. This is our third one this week, and we'll have three next week as we've got the boys Tuesday night against Milton, the girls Friday night against Edgewood, and then the boys Saturday afternoon against Monroe. A little bit of a break and then we're back at it the following Friday, Saturday again. But tonight, the game at hand. Monona Grove Silver Eagles against the Milwaukee Rufus King Generals. We'll tell you a little about Rufus King later on. The actual person, not just the school. Milwaukee City Conference used to be just one big conference. They had a dozen teams or more in the conference, and it got hard to fit in all those games for everybody, and so they split them into three sub-conferences. Milwaukee City, gold, red, and blue. And of course, the generals are leading, are undefeated here and leading in the gold conference. All right. Both teams are receiving final instructions from the coaches. We'll have the national anthem and the player introduction shortly. We'll talk in a little bit about a milestone here, Monona Grove girls basketball.
and this and all games are being conducted under the highest standards of respect and sportsmanship and fair play. We thank you in advance for your positive and enthusiastic support of the efforts of both teams and our officials. Before the national anthem, let's take a moment to give a hand to today's winners of the Monona Grove Youth Basketball Skills Challenge. As your name is called, please come and join the team for the national anthem. Starting with the older kids, we have from fifth grade, Brooke Ellingson and Dominic Martell. From fourth grade, Maggie Hurley and Kente Clark. From third grade, Jace Tortelot and Ava Vanderbilt. From second grade, Carson Pagel and Highland Schroeder. From first grade, Book Brooke Becker and Evan Becker. And from kindergarten, Penny Teagan and Basil Patrick. And now please rise and join us in the singing of our national anthem. Starting lineups first for the Rufus King Generals. Number five, Tashara Morehouse. 5'3 sophomore. Number 12, Annalie Garcia, 5'4 freshman. Number 21, a 5'8 freshman, Kay Clark. Number 22, a 5'10 senior, Destiny Tooks. And number 44, Sydney Roby. That's Morehouse, Garcia, Clark, Tukes, and Roby. And now for the Silver Eagles. Number 14, Autumn Ogden, a 5'11 senior. Number 15, a six foot freshman, McKenna Warnock. 5'10 senior, number 20, Kelsey Stinson. Number 24, 5'9 senior, Gabby Merrill. And rounding out the starting lineup, number 35, 5'10", senior, Kaylee Hinson. For the Silver Eagles, that's Ogden, Warnock, Stinson, Merrill, and Hinson. Carson Weber still on the sidelines. Their foot wrapped up. Uh, all right. Little pregame spirit for the Silver Eagle ladies. And we will see Roby jump center against Autumn Ogden. Ogden giving up about five inches. She's got a little spring in her legs though, but Sydney's a tall girl listed at 6'3 in the program. But she's every bit that and more. And the generals win the tap. This is Tukes with the ball. Hands it off to Kate Clark. Kay Clark, excuse me. Garcia, right side. Looking for some help, looks inside for Roby. Turns and goes right to the hoop with it, gets the rebound, the putback, no good. And rebound Autumn Ogden. So a good first possession for the Silver Eagles at least. Cross court pass to Merrill up top to, to Hinson. Over to Stinson left side, 
Looking in the corner to Mo Warnock. Knocked out of bounds by McKenna. And it'll be General's ball. So the Silver Eagles not even getting a shot off in that their first possession. Morehouse inbounding to the point guard Clark. Loop it to Roby at the free throw line. Back to Clark, 15 footer. Nope. Rebound to Gabby Merrill. Silver Eagles on the run. This is Stinson, right side, right corner. Hinson, three ball, boom. Kaylee Hinson starting things off for the Silver Eagles and it's a three nothing MG lead. Left corner, right corner, Garcia. Up top to Morehouse, they go right inside to Tukes. Takes it to the hoop, no, rebound Ogden. Ahead to Hinson. Kaylee on the run, lays it up, draws the foul, will get two shots. Silver Eagles playing very up-tempo, kind of a surprise given the, the fact that they've got a short turnaround after last night's game. Foul called on number 12, Annalise, Annalise Garcia, and Hinson missing her first free throw. Hinson with the second one coming up. Perfect on that one. She's got all four of the Monona Groves points. It's 4-0 MG. Clark bringing it up for the Generals. Hands off to Garcia, top of the key. Back to Clark, off her foot though. Ooh, good hustle there by Garcia to save it from over and back. Possession arrow with all goes to the Silver Eagles. Good hustle there by Garcia, but there was a Silver Eagle there to tie things up as well. 16.30 to play in the first half, 4-0 MG. This ball contested, Stinson comes up with it. Looking inside for Ogden, it's stolen by, by uh, Morehouse. Tukes, five footer, first points of the game. Four to two, the MG lead cut in half. Warnock up top to Stinson, back to McKenna Warnock, left elbow. She tries to back it into the lane, puts up a 10 footer, no, rebound Roby. Outlet pass to Garcia, the general's on the run. Now they'll pull back and set up. They go up top to Clark. Looking inside for Roby, she tries to back in, bowls over Mc Autumn Ogden, and knocked out of bounds by the general's Took. Tooks. Took was from Lord of the Rings, Peregrine Took. That'll be enough, Peregrine Took. 15.45 to play in the first half. Four to two, the Silver Eagles lead, and they have the ball. Hinson to Stinson, looking inside for Gamero, swinging out, now they go baseline. Ogden blocked by Roby, picked up by Clark. Quickly ahead to Tukes, Tukes the layup, no good, rebound McKenna Warnock. General's not shooting well at all to start the game here. They're a pretty good shooting team. Ogden takes the three, nope, air ball there. Rebound Clark, and she gets fouled by Gabby Merrill. <laughs> Warnock and Ogden will sit down. Knibuel and Kellogg in for the Silver Eagles. You'll see Coach Nelson go deep in his bench. Garcia whips it over to Roby, out to, to Morehouse who missed the three. Kellogg gets the rebound, gets knocked down by her own teammate though, knocked out of bounds. They're gonna say the Generals touched it last. Kellogg just a freshman, she's a scrapper though, brought up halfway through the season. She's proven to be a pretty good three point shooter. Hinson Stinson bringing it up for the Silver Eagles. Inside Knibule. Now to Kellogg, right side Hinson. Stinson, Knibule, 12 footer, yes. Nice shot by Maddie. She pulled Roby away from the basket just long enough to pop that shot in. And if she'd missed it, they had a shot at a rebound. They're swinging around to Morehouse up top. She drives the lane, puts up a right hander, no. Rebound Tooks, Silver Eagles all around her. She can't make this one though. Rebound Merrill, outlet pass to Stinson. Six to two is Silver Eagles lead. Kellogg, Hinson, swinging around to Stinson. Back up top to Kaylee Hinson. 
Baseline Merrill not going to take the shot. Kellogg just steps back for a three, and it's good. Kaylee Kellogg, the best to you each morning. 9-2 to the Silver Eagles lead, 13.50 to play in the first half. They loop it more. It was a nice play there. Clark looped it to Roby, who gave it back to Clark. Unfortunately, she couldn't catch the handle, and the Silver Eagles knocked it out of bounds, and a timeout called. Timeout called by the Generals. A 9-2 Silver Eagle lead. Boy, this is a team I thought would have some heavy legs, but Silver Eagles coming out running, and they've got the Generals into a hole early on in the game. And now, for some reason, they're playing some Beatles. All you need is love. That's curious. Nice song. I mean, I'm not complaining about the choice of music, but I guess we don't have the pep band. Why not have the Beatles, right? All right. Substitutes out for the Generals. Let's see. That's number 30, Vivico Malenziak. Guess she's taking Garcia's place. So, Malenziak, a 5'8 sophomore. Silver Eagles, Knibule, Ogden, Warnock, Kellogg, and Lexi Nelson in the game for the first time. Clark, Katooks on the left corner. Runs into Lexi Nelson, loops it in, into Roby, tries to back in. Warnock got a hand on it, but they're going to call a foul. Warnock called for her first foul, second team foul. That'll send Roby to the line. Roby, a 60% free throw shooter. Makes that one. Second one coming up. And that makes it a 9-4 Silver Eagle lead. Melissa Warnock shifts from the post to the point. Lexi back to Warnock. Warnock will take the three. Off the front of the rim, rebound Kellogg. Lexi right left side, back to Kellogg. Back to Lexi up top. Spin move, back to Kellogg, into the lane. And she's called for the travel. She didn't quite have the handle on that one and took an extra step and turns it over to the Generals. King's got nice uniforms. I like that. The black with the gold and blue trim. Pretty sharp looking. Easy for PA announcers to read the numbers. That's the important thing. Malenziak looking inside for Roby. Knocked out of bounds by the Silver Eagles. Roby is big. Boy. Malenziak takes the three. No. Rebound Nelson. Harassed by, by Morehouse, but she'll get it across. Hand off to Melissa or McKenna Warnock. Warnock, top of the key, drive the lane. Puts one up over Roby, partially blocked. Roby gets the rebound, rips it away from Knibule. They go back to Warnock into the lane. Tries to dump it down low to Knibule. Now Ogden gets the loose ball and gets tied up and the possession arrow goes to the Generals. Roby very disruptive inside there. You see she's averaging 4.3 blocks a game. She's got 69 coming into tonight's, or today's matchup. Now subs coming in for both sides here. No, timeout first. I didn't hear a clear indication of the timeout. I believe the generals, Coach Jeff, or Craig Maku calling that one. Jeff Maku was a Monona kid a few years behind me. 12.31 left in the first half, a 9-4 MG lead. Still not sure who called that timeout. Oh, they're cleaning up something on the floor, that's why. So it's an official timeout. I think we may have had a player bleed a little. There's some rough play under the board so far. 
but the ref's letting them play. Both teams taking an opportunity to outline things for their teams. It'll be general ball coming out of the timeout. Morehouse will inbound to Clark. Let's see, number 24, Katisha Price in. She's a 5'7 sophomore. Taken, let's see, Tuke's place. So Melenziak, Price, Roby, Clark, and Morehouse on the floor. For the Silver Eagles, it's Hinson, Stinson, Merrill, Warnock, and Ogden back to the starting five. And a 9-4 MG lead with 12-31. Here we go. Clark bringing it up. She'll get picked up by Stinson. They look for Roby. Roby finds Clark. Clark trying to go baseline, dumps it down low to Price. Rebound Ogden. Ogden on the run. She'll take it herself. Can't make the basket, but draws the foul. We'll go to the line for two. I believe this is against Price. Melenziak called for her first foul. Coming off the inbound. Nice basket there by Destiny Tukes. To, excuse me. Not Tukes. More, or Clark. Her first basket tonight. I'm all confused here, folks. Sorry about that. Ogden trying to work inside. Back to McKenna Warnock for a long three, and she's got it. Warnock's her first basket of the night, and it's a 12-6 MG lead. The Silver Eagles shooting a lot better than we've seen them shoot the last couple games. They go inside to Roby. Can't get the drop. Gets the rebound, though. Puts it up and in, draws the foul. Roby's just hard to defend. Autumn Ogden called for her first foul. Third team foul against the Silver Eagles, and Roby will go to the line for one more. She's two for two already from the line. 12 to eight, the Silver Eagles lead with 11.32 to play in the first half. And Sydney Roby to the line. Roby makes it. 12-8. Number 25, Nina Blade in, taking Roby's spot. Stinson bringing it up against moderate pressure. She'll go right in the lane, put up the left-hander, or right-hander, and good for two. Kelsey Stinson's first basket of the night. Nice move, taking advantage of Roby on the bench. Tooks, no, rebound Hinson. Silver Eagles in a hurry. Stinson, left elbow up top to Hinson. Hinson into the lane, floats one up, but off the backboard and in. Six points for Kaylee Hinson. The Silver Eagles up 16-9. Just under 11 minutes to play in the first half. Garcia back in the game along with Morehouse. And number three, Amira Fowler. Tooks, the rebound, the putback, no good. Quickly ahead to Stinson. Stinson matching up with Fowler. Back to Hinson for two more. Nice pass by Kelsey Stinson. Hinson had the easy layup for two more, 18 to nine. Fowler looking inside for Morehouse. Back to Fowler. Fowler only five foot one and a freshman. They got a lot of freshmen, six of them on the roster. Almost half the team is freshmen. Tukes, left corner. She'll dribble outside the three-point arc. Now try to go baseline, blocked by Ogden. Nice defense by Autumn. Morehouse back to Tukes. Tukes draws the foul, and this will be the second one on Ogden. And that sends Tukes to the line for her first few or free throw attempts. Just under 10 minutes to play in the first half. Knibule and Kellogg in for Hinson and Ogden. Kellogg. 
Colby back into the game for the Generals. Duke's second free throw, also good. Five straight free throws for the Generals to start the game. Kellogg to Warnock. Stinson back to Kellogg. They gotta be aware of Roby in the middle now. Kellogg needs some help, runs in the double team, knocked out of bounds by Tooks. Held that ball just a little too long and got trapped against the side there, had to get rid of it, and Tooks knocked it out of bounds, fortunately. Now Warnock working against Fowler. They look inside for Kanai Buell. Merrill gets the loose ball, takes the shot, and draws the foul. Gabby will get two. Malenziak is called for her second foul. Gabby Merrill to the line, shooting two. Sinks that first one, that's good. Gabby hitting 57% of her free throws this year. Malenziak will come out and Clark will come in. And number 10, Heron, Alicia Heron will come in. Fowler and Malenziak sit down. Gabby's second free throw coming up. In and out, tipped by Roby, recovered by Clark. Clark, down the floor in a hurry, puts it right up. Rebound Tooks, and she gets the put back. Tooks with six points. Stinson to Merrill on the left side, up top to Warnock. Can I from the free throw line? Boom, baby. Maddie Can I with a couple of free field goals from long range for her. She's shown she can hit the three from time to time. She's hit a couple of them this year. Warhouse harassed by Warnock. Now on the switch, Clark gets the ball. Tries to go down low, loose, picked up by Knibuel. Timeout called by the Silver Eagles. Good team defense there. They handled the switch okay when the ball went inside. The Silver Eagles were all over it. So they will have possession with 8.49 to play in the first half and a 21-13 lead. Well, the Generals have won four games in a row. And in that, at least three of those games, Tooks has scored 24 or more points. Against Waukesha West, they won 80 to 60. She was leading scorer with 27 points. When they beat Milwaukee Vincent, 59-41, Roby led them with 26 points. Milwaukee School Languages fell 76-67. Tooks had 24. And then against Milwaukee Riverside, a close game, 63-55, Tooks scored 28 points. Got a season high 30 against Oak Creek earlier in the season. This team started the season with four, excuse me, three straight losses, then reeled off three wins, then went win loss, win loss, win loss, win loss for a while, and then have won their last four in a row. After today's game, they've got just five regular season games left, four of them against conference opponents. Looks pretty certain they will win the Milwaukee City Gold Conference. All right. Stinson inbounding against some light pressure. Heron harassing the MG guards. Hinson will bring it across against her though. 2-3 zone for the Generals. Heron and Clark up top. No, that's Heron and Morehouse. Now Stinson for three. Long off the back of the rim. Rebound Clark. Generals wanting to run. Stolen by Hint Stinson. Ahead to Autumn Ogden. Autumn. Looking for some help, Stinson for three. Long again, off the back of the rim, rebound Autumn Ogden. She needs some help again. This time it goes Stinson, whip it over to, to Hinson and Stinson. And it goes out of bounds, general ball. Good movement by the Silver Eagles, just can't convert on that exchange. And now Lexi Nelson will come in. Maddie Flanders in the game for the Silver Eagles, her first appearance. So we've got Nelson, Flanders, Hinson, Kellogg, and Ogden. Morehouse inside to Roby. Turn around against Ogden. Nice move by Roby. She has seven points. That was a nice move. Hinson harassed by Heron as she brings it across. Now picked up by Morehouse. Lexi Nelson will whip it into Flanders. Underneath for Ogden. Scoop underneath, can't get it. Rebound, uh, Roby. Quickly ahead to Tooks. Tooks over to Heron. 
against Kellogg. No rebound, Ogden. Autumn's everywhere, it seems like. She wants to win this one really bad. Next time out, we're going to talk about Autumn a little bit. Lexi Nelson and Ogden playing keep away. They include Hinson in their game. Left corner, up top to Nelson now. Swinging around to Kellogg. She goes into the lane, blocked. Recovered by Ogden. Nelson. Up top to Hinson, three ball. No. Rebound, Tukes. Tukes on the run to Morehouse. Dump it down low to Heron. Heron, nothing doing there. Give it back to Clark for two. The Generals starting to heat up a little bit now, 21-17. The Silver Eagle lead is just four with 6.50 to play in the first half. Flanders to Nelson. Flanders underneath, that's blocked by Roby. Clark to Morehouse. Morehouse was fouled. Looked like she got clipped on the chin a little. Nelson called for her first foul, fifth team foul though. Not a lot of fouls so far, but that'll send Morehouse to the line for her first free throw attempt. She's averaging 4.8 points a game, a five foot three inch sophomore. Good on that one. Warnock, Knibule, Merrill, Stinson coming in. The only one staying on the floor is Maddie Flanders. Morehouse sinking that free throw. There's her first point of the afternoon. Another one coming up right now. Good on that one. The Generals have hit seven free throws to open the game. Number 11 in the game. I don't know who that is. Cross court pass to Flanders. Canibule to Flanders. Talk, take the three. Boom! Maddie Flanders for three. 24-19 with 6.15 to play. Tukes, no. And she'll foul Autumn Ogden. Tukes first foul. The inbound award on covered by number 11, Calhoun. Stinson thought about the three for a second, drive inside. I don't know who she was trying to pass to, but it got knocked down by Roby. Ahead to Clark. Clark into the lane, little spin move. Travel, call, yes, thank you. I was afraid they were going to call a foul there, but that was clearly a travel. She went to do a spin move and dragged her foot. If you're going to do that, you've got to plant at least one of them. Warnock bringing it up for the Silver Eagles. Into the lane, shooting over Roby. No foul, no shot. A foul before the shot. This will go against the Generals. Haynes Thomas, Kishana Haynes Thomas, not Calhoun, you big silly. She's listed as 13 in the program. Can I be winning the race? Has it knocked out of her hands by Clark, though? All right, Garcia back in for Haynes Thomas. Stinson inbounding to Warnock. 5.45 to play in the first half. Warnock back to Stinson. Into the corner to Flanders. Trying to go baseline. Warnock for three. Boom. Warnock's second three of the game. She's got six points. It's 27-19 with five and a half minutes to play in the first half. This is Clark. Left side blocked by Stinson. She goes across court to Garcia. Driving right side inside to Roby. And we got a foul underneath before the shot. I think they're going to call that on Kniebuhl. Yes, they are. Kniebuhl wearing jersey number 40 tonight. Morehouse has it tipped out of bounds by Warnock. There's some outstanding freshmen on the floor in this game. Between Roby and Warnock, that's a lot of talent. That's almost 40 points a game between the two of them. Ogden into the game for Knibule. Clark into the lane, lays up the left-hander and it's good for two. Clark with six points. She averages just under 10 a game. 
27-21. Warnock inside to Flanders, trying to go baseline, wrap around pass to Ogden, knocked out of bounds by Clark. MG will inbound under their own basket with 4.56 to play in the first half, a 27-21 lead. They go up top to Autumn Ogden. Merrill right side, out to Flanders up top, swinging around to Stinson. Stinson looking for Warnock, scoop underneath, two for McKenna. She has eight points, 29-21, MG with the lead. They've led the entire game so far. Of course it's only, what, 13 and a half minutes. Foul going back the other way, a foul called on Sydney Roby. She's upset with that. A little push there before the rebound. Sixteen foul, so both teams in the bonus now. Warnock takes the inbound back to Stinson, back to Warnock. She'll bring it across against Morehouse, Flanders. To Ogden, back to Flanders, up top to Stinson. Trying to go right side, back to Ogden. Into the lane, throws one up, draws the foul, and will get two shots. Autumn Ogden shooting 66% from the free throw line. Second foul called on Roby. Ogden scoreless so far. Chance to put in a couple here. There we go. Got to make your free throws, right? Hinson and Kellogg coming in for Warnock and Flanders. Roby will come out and 24. That's Price coming in. Katisha, Autumn's second shot, also good. Her first two points of the game. Give the Silver Eagles a 10-point lead, 31-21. 4-10 to play. Clark bringing it up for the Generals. Right corner, now she throw it out to Morehouse. Looking inside for Price. Turn around, eight-footer, nope, but she draws a foul. They're going to get Stinson. Yep, Kelsey called for her first foul, and that'll send Price to the line for the first time. Nope, that's Tooks going to the line where she's two for two. First miss. First miss of the game for the Generals. Tooks with six points already. There's number seven. 31-22. Hinson bring it up against Garcia, under four minutes to play in the half. Stinson, back to Hinson, three ball. Nope, just a little long. Rebound Tooks, down the floor in a hurry. Coming in right side, hard off the rim. Knocked out of bounds by the Silver Eagles. Garcia had a chance to get that rebound, just had it slapped away by Ogden. So the Generals will inbound. This is Garcia doing the honors. Warnock will come in. Taking Merrill's place. Nope, Ogden's place, I'm sorry. The inbound to Tooks, to Garcia, left corner, back to Tooks. Into the lane, right-hander, no. Rebound Garcia, she came sailing in to grab that one. Finds her path blocked though, and now Morehouse picks up, or Clark picks up the loose ball. McKenna, Warnock steals it, time that one perfect, and the easy layup for two. Warnock with 10 of the Silver Eagles, 33 points now, an 11-point lead for Monona Grove, 33-22, 3-10 to play. Morehouse against Hinson, and she draws the foul. Merrill called for her second foul. Can I be able to come in? Take Gabby's place. Roby will come in for Price. Morehouse shooting the bonus. She's two for two already. Missing that rebound, Warnock. Silver Eagles looking to add to that 11 point lead. Stinson, cross court to Hinson, right corner. She'll drive into the lane. Tried to flip a pass, has it partially blocked and taken away by Garcia. Garcia to Tooks. Garcia from the right side for two. Her first basket of the night. 
33-23-24. Henson up top. Into the lane, dump it back to Stinson, cross court to Kellogg. Up top to Warnock. Back to Kellogg in the left corner, she'll drive the lane. I think she was trying to dump it down low to Canibule, but it got tipped and went out of bounds, so it'll be Silver Eagle basketball. Lexi Nelson will come in for Hinson. Stinson inbounding for the Silver Eagles. Foul called on Garcia there. I didn't see it. Her second foul. The general coaches didn't see it. Disagreeing vehemently. And that will send McKenna Warnock to the line for a one and one Shooting the bonus. She is only 48% from the line so far this season. Heron ready to come in for the generals. Ah, rebound Canibule. The ball on the floor. We're going to say Roby touched it last. Canibio ran into trouble, tried to throw it off Roby's leg and ended up getting tangled up on the floor with her. Result is Roby touched it last. We get the ball under our own basket. Now Canibio will come out. She's shaken up on that play. Ogden and Hinson will come in. Lexi Nelson just came in a second ago. Canibio will look a Looks a little shook up. Trainer's checking her out. They go inbound to Ogden for two. No, not going to get it. Rebound, Roby. Autumn just having trouble shooting over that big lineup. Morehouse to Tukes. Eight-footer. No. Rebound, Roby. The putback. She gets it. Nine points for Roby in the first half. 35, excuse me, 33 26. Hinson from the free throw line, no. Rebound, Tooks. Tooks to Morehouse to Heron. Heron going left side, lays it up, no. Who wants this rebound? Roby gets it as she's falling down, throws one up. Ogden with the rebound, no fouls called here. The ref's really letting them play at times. Ogden. Blocked by Roby. I heard skin slap and slim skin, but no foul there. Now Tooks down the floor in a hurry against Kellogg. Tooks for two more. Tooks has 20 or has nine points as well. 33-28. Stinson for three. Ah, no good. Rebound Tooks. Silver Eagle shooting has gone cold the last couple minutes. And a reach in called on Hinson. Tooks will go to the line for a one and one. Just a first foul on Hinson. Can I be able back into the game? We're not going to take a rest. And Nina Blade in for Roby. Nelson coming in for Ogden. Tooks three for four from the line. Missing that one, rebound, Knibule. Henson bringing it up for the Silver Eagles. 45 seconds to play in the first half. Looking inside for Knibule, knocked out of bounds. It's Rufus King ball. 43 seconds left in the first half, a 33-28 MG lead. Clark bringing it up for the Generals. Over to Heron. Up top to Morehouse. Looping for Tooks on the left side. Working against Nelson into the lane. Eight footer. No. And draws the foul. We'll get two shots. Tooks, a 70% free throw shooter. Lexi Nelson picking up her second foul. Tooks shooting two. Good on the first. Now Fowler will come in for Heron. Fowler, 
Looks so little out there, man. Took second shot, also good. She's five out of seven in the first half. 33-30 with 27 seconds left in the half. Stinson into the lane, a little wild, almost lost the handle, gets it over to Kellogg though. Kellogg to Stinson. Looking inside for Hinson, knocked out of bounds by Clark. Nice defensive play by Kay Clark. It'll be MG ball, but she stopped Hinson from an easy basket there. Now Stinson will inbound up top to Kaylee Hinson. 12 seconds left, Fowler harassing her. Lexi Nelson to Stinson. Stinson won, wanted the ball. To Hinson, better put it up. Hinson can't get it to drop, and the first half will end with the Silver Eagle leading the Milwaukee King Generals 33 30. We'll be back with the second half of basketball here on WVMO. I'm Steve Martinelli. Stay tuned to Silver Eagle Basketball. Welcome back to WVMO Silver Eagle Basketball. The girls leading Rufus King Lady Generals 33 30 at halftime. I'm Steve Martinelli. And later this afternoon, the MG boys will be up at Green Bay West to take on the Westerners. I don't even know what their nickname is. Doesn't matter. They'll be back here Tuesday night to take on Milton. The girls will play again on Friday against Madison Edgewood here at the high school. It'll be youth night. That's always fun. And then we'll be back here a week from today, Saturday, when the boys take on the Monroe Cheesemakers. Running down the scoring in the first half for the Generals. Let's see, they're led in the first half by their leading scorer, Destiny Tooks, with 11 points, Sydney Roby with nine, six for Kay Clark. That, none of that is a surprise to me. I expected those three to be the main force, and they are three talented players. Two apiece for Morehouse and Garcia. The Generals hitting 10 out of 13 free throws in the first half. That's definitely played a part of this game. Foul trouble, Garcia, Malenziak, and Roby, each with two fouls on the Silver Eagle side. First half leading scorers, McKenna Warnock with 10 points, eight for Kaylee Hinson, four for Kniebuhl, three for Flanders, three for Kellogg, two apiece for Kelsey Stinson and Autumn Ogden. Those two are both a surprise as they've been fairly cold. And then Gabby Merrill with a single free throw. Foul trouble for the Silver Eagles. Lexi Nelson has two fouls. Autumn's got two fouls, two for Gabby Merrill. One of the milestones I wanted to talk about, let me get my notes here so I get it right. We forgot to mention earlier this week, Autumn Ogden, not only was she honored for passing the 1,000 point barrier in her career, she's moved into second place all time scoring for the Silver Eagles. Monona's got four 1,000 point scores in their history. First was Diane Ring, that's about 30 years ago for those of you keeping score at home. But Alexa Kelsey with 1,004 points, Diane Ring with 1,033. She's been passed recently by Autumn Ogden with 1,069. And on top, of course, Taylor Nelson with 1,393 points. Autumn's got to go on quite a tear to catch her. And let's not get ahead of ourselves, but McKenna Warnock on a good path. Taylor Nelson's average represents 14.4 a game over your whole career. That's pretty good. Warnock's averaging about 18 a game, so at her current pace, you know, given the fact she's two-thirds of the way through her freshman year, there's a lot of basketball to be played. She's on a good path, though. All right. Silver Eagles will have the ball to start the second half. They also have a three-point lead, a tentative three-point lead. They led by 11. They're up 33-22, and uh, the Generals closed out the half with an eight-point run, pulled within three. Silver Eagles have led the entire game. Start the second half, they bring out their original five starters. Merrill, Hinson, Stinson, Warnock, and Ogden. For the Generals, Morehouse, Garcia, Clark, Tooks, and Roby. Roby and Tooks doing the damage. Both ends of the floor. Fine rebounders, defenders, good shooters inside the paint. They haven't shown the ability to shoot outside much. Now Garcia steals that one away. She lays it up. And we've got a one-point game. Annalie Garcia with four, po four points. 33-32. Ogden thought about the three. Hinson, Stinson, inside to Merrill, back out to Hinson. Or excuse me, Stinson. Autumn Ogden almost lost it. They go into Warnock in the paint. Left-hand scoop for two. McKenna Warnock with 12 points. She leads all scorers now. Clark 
into the corner to Tooks and they throw it away. So the turnover gives the Silver Eagles a chance to add to their three point lead. I expected this to be a tough game. Generals are a good team. Should make a good playoff run. McKenna Warnock for a long three, no. Tipped by Merrill, rebound Ogden. Inside to Warnock, down low to. No, it's to Stinson, then down low to Warnock and she gets fouled. She makes the basket and we'll get to the line for one more. Tooks called for her second foul. Warnock to the line where she's 0 for 1. That's the one weak spot in her game is free throws, but she makes that one okay. 15 points, is that right? 8, 9, 15. Stinson for the easy two. Stinson with four points now, 40 to 32. And a foul called. No, no foul called. This is Morehouse with the ball. Guarded by Hinson. Tries to go into the lane over to Garcia, right corner, back up top, back to Garcia. We got a foul away from the ball. Warnock called for the foul, I believe. Yep, McKenna's second foul, first team foul. So Garcia will inbound for the Lady Generals. Inbound, Garcia gets it back, thought about the three. They go inside to Roby, tipped away by Ogden. She saves it, nope. Knocked out of bounds, it'll be King Ball. Next time I will tell you who Rufus King was. A little history lesson coming up. Malenziak coming in. Vivica Malenziak taking Morehouse's spot. Clark, 10 footer, no. Roby battling, battling Warnock. She's gonna get draw, called for the foul though as Warnock hit the deck. That's the third foul on Roby. Second team foul. Silver goes up 40 to 33, 16-25 to play in the game. Hinson bringing it down, right side. Stinson back up top to Hinson, into the lane. Disrupted by, by Roby, but Hinson makes the basket. 10 points for Kaylee Hinson, 42-32. Clark answers with a two of her own. I like Clark, she's a nice guard. Ogden up top to Hinson, inside to Merrill, back out to Stinson, three ball, boom baby. Stinson's first three of the night. She's second on the team behind Warnock in threes. Merrill comes up with the rebound. 15 and a half minutes to play in the game. Stinson again, can't get that one to go. Rebound Roby. Roby is a strong rebounder. And a foul called against the Silver Eagles. Merrill called for her third foul and now a bunch of subs coming in for the Silver Eagles. Kellogg, Nelson, Flanders, and Kniebuhl joining Warnock. Everybody else sit down, take a rest. 15-25 to play, 45-34, 11 points. This ties the biggest lead of the night. They try to loop it into Roby, backing in against Canibule, right hand hook, good. 11 points for Roby. She averages 14. Kellogg for three, long. Stinson couldn't get that rebound. Garcia comes up with it on the run. Nice pass over to Clark, and Clark gets, excuse me, Tooks gets the basket and a timeout called by the Generals. Tooks with 13, all right, I promise I'd talk about Rufus King. Rufus King, born in 1755, was an American diplomat, politician, and one of the signers of the U.S. Constitution. 
Ran for president at one point as a Federalist. He was admitted to the bar in 1780, representing Massachusetts in the C C Continental Congress. He was a staunch anti-slavery activist. How about that? Added the anti-slavery clause be added to Missouri's application for statehood in 1820. Or the petition should be denied. So, one of our founding fathers, Rufus King. Full court presser now, pressure now by the generals. Nelson to Stinson. Guarded by Heron. She's into the game for the first time in the second half. They get Kellogg left corner up top to, to Stinson. She'll try to drive. Kniebuel, eight footer, no. Gets the rebound though. Knocked away. Recovered by Garcia. Garcia's just a pain anywhere she is on the floor. She always seems to be around the ball. This is Heron on the left side. Looking in for Tooks in the lane. Tooks called for the travel. I didn't see that. Neither did the King coach, Craig Makut. All right, just the same. We get the ball here, 45-38. Stinson working against Heron. Cross court to Kellogg, up top to Lexi Nelson. Back to Kellogg in left corner. She'll dribble out to the free throw line, give it to Stinson. Stinson, back to Nelson. Kellogg, right corner, Flanders and Kellogg playing keep away. Flanders to Nelson. MG content to play some catch with the ball. Stinson for three. Oh, rattles that one in. Stinson with 10 points. She had only two in the first half. Eight now in the second half. It's a 10 point lead again, 48-38. Clark, left side, fouled. Lexi Nelson picking up her third team foul. Line change coming up here as four of our original starters come back in. Joining Kanai Buell. Ogden Hinson, Warnock, and Merrill on the floor with Maddie. Heron gets the inbounds pass. Clark, dump it down low to Roby. In and out, rebound, Tooks. Can't get it. Heron comes up with the loose ball. Clark thought about the three, dribbles into the free throw line, misses it, rebound, Warnock. Almost taken away by Roby and Tooks there. She'll take it in on her own. No, dump it down low to Kanibu, who lost the handle on it, picks it up. Dump it over to Ogden, up top. To There's Ogden. Gets the basket and the foul. Roby picking up her fourth foul. First basket of the night for Ogden. She appears a little shook up. She'll go to the line shooting one. Chance to complete a three point play. 12 point MG lead now, 50 to 38, the biggest of the night. Roby will take a seat. I didn't see who they brought in in her place. Ogden makes that one. She's made three straight free throws. Five points for Autumn. Kellogg coming in for Kniebuel. Let's see. Haynes Thomas in there. I guess she's the one as they go to a small lineup now. Really the only size is Tooks. Haynes Thomas with the ball into Tooks at the free throw line. She tries to drive, Pat blocked by Ogden. Garcia thought about the right side three, back inside to Tooks. Harassed by Warnock. Heron over to Clark. She comes in right baseline, gets the roll. Clark with 10 points, 51-40. Pre pressure by the King, Generals. Merrill draws the foul. Heron called for her first foul. Merrill missing her first free throw.
Merrill with one free throw already. She's one out of three from the line. Merrill hits that one, making a 52-40 lead. Heron to Morehouse to Haynes Thomas. And a timeout called by the Generals. 12-17 to play, a 52-40 MG lead. No, not a timeout. This is Morehouse working against Kellogg. Up top to Heron. Into the lane, right-hander. Nope. Draws the foul, will get two shots though. Who are they gonna get for this? Kellogg picking up her first. Nope, Hinson called for her, the foul instead. Here into the line for the first time. Heron makes her first, 5'3 sophomore. Stinson and Nelson in for MG. Ogden and Hinson will sit down. 12.08 to play, a 52-41 MG lead. Morehouse's, or Heron's second free throw coming up is good. This is a good free throw shooting team. I don't know what their team percentage is, but they've shot it well tonight. Steal by Tooks. Working against Stinson, gets the roll for two. 15 for Tooks. The inbound to Kellogg, back to Stinson. Tooks picks her up. She'll back off now and let her cross half court. Kings, King into a man-to-man -man defense. They played zone most of the first half with Roby in there. Missed by Stinson, tipped. The Generals come up with it and a foul called on the Silver Eagles. Kelsey Stinson picking that one up. Her second, team six, so the Generals will be in the bonus the rest of the game. Canibiol and Flanders will come in for Stinson and Merrill. Eleven thirty-five to play, 52-44. MG on top by eight. Clark wants to go one-on-one, -on -one, goes right down the middle with it, lays it up and in. That Clark is fast. I've got her for 12 points. Warnock to Flanders, back to Warnock. Looking inside, saved by Nelson. Knibuel can't get the roll. Rebound Heron. She'll dribble out herself. She's a quick one, too. Takes it up and in. No. Rebound. Foul call. This is going against King. Tooks called for her third foul. So Roby on the bench with four, Tooks with three now. Fifth team foul. Garcia's gonna come in for Heron. Silver Eagles working against the Generals full court pressure. They get it into Warnock, back to Kellogg. Back to Warnock, she'll get it across the timeline. She'll pull up now, look for some help. She'll take it in herself. Can't get it to drop though. Save from going out of bounds by Clark. Warnock almost came up with the loose ball and we got a foul against Tooks. That'll be her fourth. So Tooks and Roby each with four fouls now. Team six, so both teams in the bonus for the next 10 minutes and 43 seconds. So Regals will inbound under their own basket. Flanders doing the honors. Gets it into Warnock, slapped away by Clark. Clark on the run. No, that's Morehouse, I'm sorry. Chased by Kellogg. Now Lexi Nelson will pick her up. There's Clark. Inside for Tooks, turn around. Silver Eagles all over. She can't make the basket, but she draws a foul. That's gonna be against Kanibuel, her second. Tooks shooting two. She's five out of seven from the line so far. Big one there. 
Another line change for the Silver Eagles as they bring in Merrill, Stinson, Hinson, and Ogden, joining Lexi Nelson. So Coach Nelson going nine deep here, keeping some fresh legs on the floor. Remember they played last night, so even though these are high school kids, it's a quick turnaround to play another game in, what, 16 hours. Fowler into the game for the Generals. Took second shot, also good. She's seven out of nine from the free throw line. Malenziak ready to come in for the Generals, and we got a timeout called. I've got Tooks for 17 points. She averages 19. It's a 52-48 MG lead with 10.28 to play. Silver Eagles have not shot the ball that well in the second half. They're kind of streaky. They were up by 12-13 at one point there, and then it's evaporated now to just a four-point lead. We have to find the combination here and put a few points in. It does help, though, that Tooks and Roby have four fouls apiece. The only Silver Eagles with as many as three fouls are Merrill and Nelson. And not to be mean, but if one of them should fall out, it wouldn't nearly have the impact of Tooks and Roby falling out. Roby has drawn the most personal fouls on the Generals, 60. So she averages almost four fouls a game. That's where she sits right now. Silver Eagles come out of the timeout with Merrill, Stinson, Nelson, Hinson, and Ogden. Four starters plus Lexi Nelson in place of Warnock. Nelson picked up by Little Fowler. Hinson covered by Clark. She gets it across, whips it over to Merrill. Into the right corner, Lexi Nelson misses the three. Rebound Malenziak. Out to Clark. She's on the run. Big dribble there, nothing called. Lost the ball, picked up by Ogden. Nelson to Merrill to Hinson. They're calling over and back, but the refs still don't like it. Ogden draws a foul. Fouled by Fowler. Fowler's the Fowler. Her first foul. Over and back, not call. The referee's catching the business here. <laughs> Ogden, three for three from the line. Makes her first. Now Warnock will come in for Merrill. Autumn makes them both. She's got seven points, and it's a 53-48 MG lead. 9.50 to play in the game. This is Malenziak to Morehouse. Stolen by Ogden. Stolen back by Morehouse. She almost walked with it. She got away with one there. Gets, shovels it over to Garcia. Fowler in the corner. Cross-court pass. Stolen by Stinson. Tough defense by both teams here. Hinson tries to drive, lost the handle, picked up by Clark. Clark on the run again. She'll take it right down the middle. Blocked by War by Stinson. Those headbands confuse me. Head to Hinson. She lost it. Picked up by Garcia. A little sloppy play going back and forth here. Let's say good defense instead of sloppy play. Garcia going baseline. No. Rebound Stinson. Stolen by Morehouse. She puts it up. No. Rebound Mornock. Ahead to Ogden. Over to Hinson. Right hand hook, no. Rebound Garcia, slapped away by Ogden. Ball on the floor. Jump ball called and it goes to the Silver Eagles. Well, some unhappy fans here. <laughs> They're a little upset, aren't they? All right. Haynes Thomas coming in for the Generals. Merrill and Kellogg in for MG. We gotta sit one Silver Eagle down. Hey, 
And a technical call against the Silver Eagles for having six on the floor. Referee recording a bench technical against the Silver Eagles. They had trouble. Kel Kellogg came into the f on the floor, and she didn't seek out Nelson right away. Lexi wasn't sure if she was playing or not. In the confusion, the coach came over, or the ref came over, teed up MG. And this will send Malenziak to the line for two. Makes the first, her first point of the afternoon. Valenciak, only one for two from the line so far this season. Makes them both though. She averages four and a half a game, that's her first two and now the Generals with a chance to cut into that lead a little more as they get the ball after the technical. Now Roby will check in for Haynes Thomas. 54-50 with 8.52 to play. We got us a game here folks. The Generals with the ball after the technical. This is Clark working against Stinson. Over to Malenziak, try to loop it into Roby, over her head, recovered by Warnock. Kenna Warnock, little stutter step. <laughs> try to go to the basket with it. Ogden on the floor. And a timeout called by the Silver Eagles. Autumn Ogden seated flat on the floor, came up with that ball and Coach Nelson wisely called a timeout before she was called for a travel. There were players all over around her and it easily could have been stolen or tied up or called for the travel. Instead he calls the timeout. So the Silver Eagles will have the ball and a four point lead with 8.36 to play. 54-50. The referee's catching a little heat from some of the visiting fans who don't like some of the calls. There's a couple I've not been sure about. All right. Both teams back out on the floor. Kellogg, Ogden, Warnock, Stinson, and Merrill for the Silver Eagles. Roby, Malenziak, Clark, Garcia, and Morehouse for the Generals. Stinson inbounding to Kellogg. Ooh, just saved it from going out of bounds. This is Warnock, top of the key, three ball. No, short, rebound Clark. Clark is a hustler. She'll try to go baseline against Warnock. Warnock called for the travel. I would have called the charge. Warnock called for her third foul. That sends Clark to the line for two. Clark's first free throw attempts of the afternoon. First one is good. Now Warnock will take a seat and Hinson will come in. Clark missing that one, rebound Ogden. Looping pass to Merrill, out to Hinson. Up top to Stinson. Back to Hinson. And she is fouled by Clark. Kay Clark called for just her first foul. That'll set up a one and one for Kaylee Hinson. Kaylee with 10 points already, one for two from the line. She comes in averaging 7.6 a game. Now Knibiel will come in for Ogden. See if Knibiel can coax a fifth foul out of Roby. One and one coming up for Kaylee Hinson. There we go. 11 points for Kaylee. Missing that one, rebound Morehouse. She goes down, puts up the right hand layup, no good, rebound Stinson. And Morehouse steals it back, puts up a 10-footer. Nope, rebound Canibule. Stinson and Hinson bringing it across for the Silver Eagles. Under eight minutes to play, 55-51. Hinson to Stinson. 
Stinson dump it back. No, she draws the foul. She'll get a one and one. I believe they'll get Malenziak. Yep. Her third foul. Vivica. I like that name. Viv. Took's ready to come in for Malenziak. Here she comes. That sends Stinson to the line for the first time tonight. Kelsey, a 70% free throw shooter, one of the better ones on the team. Perfect on that one. She has 11 points, just over her average. Missing that one, who wants this rebound? Jump ball. Yep, they're gonna say the hell ball goes to the Silver Eagles. There was about four girls that could claim that one. 56-51, the Silver Eagles with the ball under their own basket. Stinson inbounding to Merrill. Back to Stinson. Hinson for three. Boom! Her second three-pointer of the game. She has 14 points. 59-51. They go inside to Roby, back to Garcia. Garcia trying to go baseline, dump it out to Roby. Nope, Kanai Buell comes up with it. Touch last by the Generals. A lot of anger here. I don't like this. It's just a basketball game, guys. Stinson to Hinson. Generals in a man-to-man. -man. Remember they used the zone most of the first half. Hinson lays it up and in. 16 points for Kaylee. She's creeping up on a career high, I do believe. Let's see if I can get a break here. I'll check this. Clark gets rid of the loose ball to Morehouse inside to Roby. Little right-hand move. Not going to get it, but she draws the foul. Canable called for her third foul. Roby shooting two. She's three for three from the line so far. 11 points on the afternoon. Oh, she, the crowd. she makes that one. Yeah, Kaylee Hinson's career best is 17 points. She's done that a couple times. She's creeping up on that. And that's 13 points for the freshman Roby. 61-53. Kniebuhl looking inside. Back to Kniebuhl. She's shown some nice range. She's hit three mid-range jumpers, you know, in that 10 to 15 foot range. That was a big one. They bring it into Roby. Roby gets the basket and the foul. I can see where she uses that big body to do that a lot. Knable called for her fourth. Roby to the line where she's five out of five. Six out of six. Boy, there's gonna be a lot of big schools wanting a 6'3 freshman like her. Now Ogden come in for Kniebuhl. 63-56 with 6.24 to play. Stinson bringing it up against pressure. Gets it over to Merrill. Into the lane, slapped away by Morehouse, picked up by Garcia. Generals on the run. Clark going right baseline, no. Rebound Tooks, she puts it up, no. Rebound Merrill. Hinson will bring it across for the Silver Eagles. It's interesting, when the Generals run that fast break, Roby doesn't get out there at all, so they don't have a lot of rebounding strength. Morehouse takes that one in, though, and you don't need a rebounder if Morehouse is going to make the layup. Four points for the freshman now, 63-58, and a timeout called by the Silver Eagles. 5.46 to play, a 63-58 game. I expected some scoring this afternoon. Plenty so far, plenty of game yet to be played. Flanders checking in for the Silver Eagles. Well, 
Tooks and Roby bo both playing with four fouls, as is Kanaibule. Either one of those big players falls out for the Generals. They're going to have a little bit of a problem with the Silver Eagles. Monona certainly keep giving them all they can handle. Silver Eagles on paper, the better team with a 13-3 record, but boy, these Generals are good. I, I suspected they'd put up a battle. Only 9-7 and seven on the season, but they got some players, and they play a, a tough schedule. Let me check this here. play Lord's Academy and they played Middleton and got got a victory out of that one 80 to 69 they went down and played a couple of Illinois teams Chicago Marshall who else where's the other one Rich South at Zion Benton High School all right for the Silver Eagles Stinson Warnock Ogden and Flanders and maybe a fifth player oh there's Kellogg hiding in the corner there she was blending in. Warnock runs into trouble. Stolen by Tooks. She lays it up for two. No, a miss. What do we got? Foul on Tooks. And that's her fifth. So she will fall out with two, four, six, eight, ten, seventeen 17 points. Couple below her average. That'll send Kellogg to the line for a couple. Malenziak will come in for Tooks. Kellogg to the line. Kellogg six out of eight in her short varsity career from the free throw line. Malenziak in now. Clark having to tie her shoes. All right, Kellogg to the line, shooting a one and one Perfect on the first. Silver Eagles hitting their free throws. They're only four out of seven in the first half. They've improved on that. If we get a timeout, I'll try and calculate it quickly. Kellogg hitting them both. The freshman has five points, 65-58. Long pass to Garcia. She pulls it in in the left corner. Going inside for Roby, backing in against Ogden. Misses the basket, but gets the foul. You can almost count on that happening when they loop it in like that to Roby. Ogden called for a third foul. Roby shooting two. She's perfect six for six from the line so far, 16 points. There's number seven in a row. 5.26 to play, a 65-59 lead. Roby can cut into that one more. Nope, her first miss. Rebound, Stinson. Ogden over to Warnock, left elbow. She'll dribble up top and give it to Stinson. Over to Kellogg. Kellogg into the lane, dump it back. To Flanders, missed the three, rebound Ogden. Tried to get it inside and Roby steals it, but stepped on the line, it's MG ball. Flanders had an open shot, just couldn't draw iron and Ogden doing a good job trying to keep the ball in play. Unfortunately, Roby knocked it out of bounds. Now they inbound it to Warnock. Right side, up top to Ogden. Back to Stinson, three ball, in and out. Warnock comes up with the free throw or with the rebound and draws the foul. Went right back up with it, drew, drew the foul. Didn't really have a good shot, but picks up the foul and two free throws coming up. Clark called for a second foul. Warnock to the line where she's one out of two. 4.54 to play. We need every point now, girls. I don't think King is going away. This is a tough team. Warnock's second one coming up. 17 points for the freshman. She leads the Silver Eagles in scoring. Clark down the floor in a hurry, trying to drive left side. Nope, tipped by Roby. Roby wrestles it away from Flanders and draws a foul. 
Landers called for her first foul. Roby to the line again. Roby with 17 points. She gets two free throws. We're in the double bonus, so everybody will be shooting two from the rest for the rest of the game. Roby hits another one. She's eight on a nine. Now Canibe will come in for Flanders. Canibe will play in with four fouls. So the two bigs each in trouble of fouling out here. 67-60. Roby, another one coming up. Roby hits them both. Nine out of ten for the freshman. She has 19 points to lead everybody in scoring. Now Stinson trying to get up the floor against Garcia. Gets it across. Dribbles the right side out to Kellogg. Up top to Warnock. Loop it underneath to Stinson. She'll go baseline and come back out with it. Back to Warnock. Back to Stinson. Stinson, right side drive. Out to Kellogg. Kellogg. Knibule. Cross court to Warnock. Warnock into the lane, trying to back in, spin move right side. No, tipped, tipped. Warnock comes up with it and gets fouled. What? What kind of a foul or call did we get there? They're gonna say MG touched it last. Haynes Thomas in for Malenziak. They're gonna say King has the ball. Okay, Hinson in for Ogden. 4.05 to play, 67-61. King down by six, but they have the ball and the possession arrow. A lot of clock left. Look inside for Roby. Can't get it though, no foul call, rebound Hinson. Good job by Canavial to stay put, stay straight up in the air. Stinson, driving right side, dumps it over Canavial. Canabule, there she draws the foul. Garcia called for her third foul, Canabule to the line. First trip to the line tonight, she's got six points. There's number seven. Maddie averaging 6.3 a game. She's hitting 56% from the free throw line. That was a big one there. We could use another one here, Maddie. In and out, rebound Clark. Clark has it stolen by Kellogg. Mc Warnock comes up with a loose ball and almost lost it there. Hinson gets it. Hinson to Warnock, top of the key, over to Stinson on the left side. Right side, a little dyslexic I guess. Looping it for Hinson. She'll dribble up top with it. Drive the lane now, put one up from the left side, no foul. Roby with the rebound. Roby looking to get rid of it. Gets it to Morehouse. Quickly ahead to Clark. Clark drives from the left side, draws the foul and gets the basket. I'll tell you that Clark really impresses me. 5'8 freshman, she's gonna be something. First foul on Kellogg. I'll send Clark to the line for one. Ogden Merrill in for Warnock and Kellogg. 3-10 to play, a 69-63 MG lead. Can't take anything for granted in this one. Silver Eagles have led the entire game. Clark, perfect on that one. And a timeout called. I've got Clark for two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 points. So Clark, Tooks, and Roby all doing the job for the King Generals on the Silver Eagle side. It's a lot of girls pitching in, mostly Warnock and Hinson doing the damage though. 68-64, so Monona Grove will have the ball, a four point lead, possession arrow is for MG. Whew, this is a good one. Both teams taking their time in the huddles. This is this is where it's guts time. 3-10 to play. A tight game like this. It's a long ride back to Milwaukee if if the generals can't pull this out. They come out of the out of the timeout with four guards and Roby. Silver Eagles have Knibule, Merrill, Hinson, 
Stinson and Ogden. Full court pressure by the Generals. Stolen by Clark, puts up the right-hander for two. That's 19 for Clark now, I told you, she's a good one. Merrill looking for some help and draws a foul. Haynes Thomas called for her second foul. She's a 5'5 freshman. A lot of freshmen getting huge minutes for this team. That'll send Gabby Merrill to the line. Gabby two out of four. Nothing but net. Good timing to hit that one. 69-66. 2.58 to play in the game. MG lead just three. Another one coming up here. Gabby missed. Rebound, Ogden. Put back by Autumn. Autumn's second field goal of the night, and it comes at a big time, and now, ooh, Roby down on the floor. She's up. She seems to be okay. Walking it off, tough kid. Ogden with a big putback there, giving the Silver Eagles a five-point lead, 71-66. Now the coach checking in with her. They can ill afford to lose her. Clark is having a heck of a game, but with Tooks on the bench with five fouls, they need Roby. They don't have a whole lot of scoring threats on the floor aside from Clark and Roby. Clark will let it roll, drain every second out of the clock she can. Over to Garcia, left side back to Clark. Goes up top to Morehouse. Back to Clark. I think they've attempted one three-pointer this whole game. They're not a jump shooting team. And Haynes Thomas knocks it out of bounds. It goes to MG. Now Heron will come in for Haynes Thomas. Stinson inbounding for the Silver Eagles. She's got Warnock and Hinson in the backcourt with her. They find Gabby Merrill, though, back to Kelsey Stinson. Hinson will dribble it across the timeline, two and a half minutes to play. Got Warnock open, she's calling for it. No three there, though. Hinson back to Stinson. They're gonna leave somebody open for a shot here. Hinson, oh, ooh, I thought she was gonna take the three there. Warnock. Silver Eagles content to take some time. Stinson to Warnock. Back to Stinson. She drives right side, loop it into Ogden. Back to Stinson, down low for two. Kelsey Stinson, she has 13 points. Garcia to Clark. Clark to free throw line, has it slapped away by Warnock, out of bounds, no, Clark picks it up. Warnock almost comes up with a steal. Slapped it out of bounds though, and it'll be King ball, 73-66, minute 48 to play. Time running out for the Generals. Clark to the, to the hoop for two more. Clark, just a freshman. Man, there's some good freshmen in this game. We got a couple of them. 73-68, this is Stinson with the ball. Ogden in the right corner, back out to Stinson. They're gonna have to start fouling pretty soon, I imagine. Ogden dribbles up top, over to Hinson. Hinson to Stinson in the right corner. She'll pass up the three, give it out to Warnock. No sense in rushing a shot here unless it's an easy bunny. There, we get a foul, Clark getting Hinson. Clark's third foul. And that'll send Hinson to the line, Kelsey. Only a 45% free throw shooter, so they, I'm sure they were counting on that. She's two for four from the line so far tonight. Minute seven to play. Ah, gotta make your free throws. Subs coming in, Melenziak, Garcia, and Morehouse. Nope, just Melenziak, the others were coming in from the backcourt. Morehouse and Garcia joining Clark Roby. Hinson's second one, also no good. 
Rebound Ogden. She tries to back in, has it stripped away, and it goes back the other way. Oh, now the referees are going to talk. They're going to give it to the MG, I bet. Nope, they're going to keep it with King. 73-68, a five-point game with a minute four to play. Silver Eagles hoping to hang on. I never got a chance to talk about last year when these two teams played each other. Malenziak with the ball top of the key. Under a minute to play. Morehouse trying to drive left side. Garcia for three. Long. Roby off her hands and out of bounds. It's MG ball. Fowler and Heron coming in. They have fouls to give. Roby and Malenziak will sit down. Stinson, the home run ball to Ogden. Autumn lays it up and in for two. Autumn Ogden with 11 points now. Four Silver Eagles in double figures. Heron down the floor in a hurry, floats one up, no. Rebound Warnock, and Warnock is fouled. Last year, these two teams played down in Milwaukee. King the winner in that one, 69-55. Akela Hayes led the way for, for uh, the Generals, 26 points. Autumn Ogden led the way with 17 for MG. Foul on Heron, her second. That'll send Warnock to the line. McKenna, three out of four so far. 75-68 with 37 seconds remaining. Perfect on that one. I've got McKenna for 18 points tonight. Seventy-six, sixty-eight. It's looking good for the Silver Eagles, but they got to hang in there. Another one for Warnock. Thirty-five seconds left. Garcia. Malenziak for three. Nailed it. Her first field goal of the night and a timeout called. That makes it a 77-71 MG lead. 27 seconds remaining. Took's the second team all-conference pick last year. You can definitely see why she's a good player. They graduated a couple. Shaquille Fowler was co-player of the year last year in Milwaukee. City Gold Conference, averaging 15 points a game, five assists, three steals. They also had a Kayla Hayes, who was all conference. They get a good team. And King, a good athletic record. They're, they're known for academics. They're one of the better academic schools in the Milwaukee Conference. But last fall, they were, all, they were the conference champs in volleyball. Last spring, they were conference champs in softball and soccer. So some good athletes. They're a D1 school, of course, and they're with just under 1,500 students. And a high percentage of their students go on to study in college. Good school and well-known athletically, particularly their basketball program. Now the Silver Eagles will inbound with 27 seconds left and a six-point lead. Stinson gets it into Warnock. No foul called. Merrill. Gabby draws the foul. She'll go to the line for two. Better yet, those seven seconds ticked off the clock. Heron called for her foul, her third foul. Merrill to the line where she's three out of six. Ooh, can't get that one to go. Now, Roby and Malenziak will come in. Oh, Malenziak was in. Heron will sit down. 20 seconds left. Gabby Merrill with another free throw coming up. Missed them both, rebound Roby. Clark down the floor in a hurry. Malenzak, a long three, no. Rebound Garcia, tried to throw it off Silver Eagles. And Morehouse fouls Warnock. First foul on Morehouse, Warnock shooting two here. 77-71, the Silver Eagles will drop off the lane. Mm. 
Nine seconds remaining. This is just about it for the Generals. As they will fall to nine and eight, the Silver Eagles will improve to 14 and three, an outstanding performance by both squads. This is a tough game. Some nice players in this game. Warnock hits that one. I've got her for 19 points unofficially. Malenziak, a long three again, off. Rebound Ogden, they're gonna foul her. Nope, they're just gonna let it dribble out. And that's that'll do it. The Silver Eagles victorious over the Milwaukee King Generals, 78-71. Good performance tonight by McKenna Warnock, Kaylee Hinson, Kelsey Stinson, Autumn Ogden, holding down the, uh, the strong trio of Clark, Tooks, and Roby. Silver Eagles led the entire game, edging them out with a seven point victory, 78-71. Like I mentioned, the girls will be back here, let's see, Friday night, next Friday against Madison Edgewood. Boys will be here Tuesday when they take on the Milton Redhawks. Thanks so much for watching and listening on WVMO. I'm Steve Martinelli, and this has been WVMO, the voice of Monona, 98.7 FM. Good night.